Good night, guys. How are you today? Hi, good evening. Good evening, Brandy. Maximo, how are you today? Okay, guys, thank you for being on time. Again, uh, we will wait until 8.03 in order to start this class. Uh, and as always, we will watch a little uh, preview about what will be the agenda for today. Well, guys, first of all, we will finalize section seven. After that, I need that uh, everybody think uh, maybe on, on an aim that is difficult for you, that you don't understand so well. Uh, please think about it in order to try to clarify whatever doubt or question that you have before continuing with section number five. Okay. And also, we will uh, make uh, a little practice with our reading skill. And now, let me know how was your day. Mm -hmm. Who? Oh, cool. everybody. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you can start, Brandy. Well, I can lie, but for me, every day is the same. I have to get up early, work. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, now I'm still working. But it was uh, a little crowded as yesterday, or it was soft? It was a slow. It was a slow. Yeah. Okay. And what about you, maybe? Well, it was a busy day, and I had lunch with a friend of mine who were so kind to invite me to a cup of coffee after the lunch. <laughs> and then I got a manicure. <laughs> <laughs> So it was very nice. <laughs> oh, it was it was like a spa day. Not really, but a little bit in the afternoon. Oh, okay. in the evening. Sorry, in the evening. Oh, that's perfect. What about you, Morena? How was your day? Oh, my day was very very um relaxed. Working, working, relaxed, and, oh, and I feel very com com comfortable here in my house because I make my time. That's perfect. Yes. What about you? That's been you working at home. What? You've been, work you've been working at home. Yes, yes, we're at home. Yes. Ah, do you work, uh -huh. uh, you work yes. at home? That's why I work triple. <laughs> <laughs> Babysitter, yeah. homeskeeper, um, agent too. And now, classmate. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's the life <clears throat> for an adult. <laughs> yes, it is. More for a women's. Oh, for everybody. No. Mm. Yes, it's we, not for uh, everybody, but maybe for the people who, who live alone, that's the life, a normal day. Go to work, then prepare the dinner, prepare the food, the lunch for the next day, clean the house, do the dishes, do the laundry also, and also try to take time in order to, to think in other stuff. Okay, guys. It's 
it's time to start the class. Just give me a second before I share the screen. May why? Uh, you will be able to, you know, if you are able to, to open your to platform, it will be great. Okay. Okay, guys. Yesterday, uh, at the end, we learned about by uh, how to make suggestions with your infinity model plus verb and negative question. That was the last thing that I would talk. And we said that today we will watch this video in order to understand that. I will play the video and please pay, pay attention carefully because you will find uh, some way how to make uh, suggestions. Give me a second. Ready? In English, there are many ways to make suggestions. Grab a pen and paper and take notes. Remember, you may play the audio program and the explanation as necessary. Making suggestions with gerunds. What about looking through the personal ads? Have you thought about joining an online dating service? With infinitives. It might be a good idea to check out those discussion groups at the bookstore. One thing you could do is go to a discussion group at the bookstore. One thing you could do is to go to a discussion group at the bookstore. With modals plus verbs. Maybe you could go to a chat room on the internet. With negative questions. Why don't you join a dating service? Making suggestions is not difficult. You just need to remember which forms to go together. Follow me. Making suggestions or giving advice. Number one, how about, what about, have you thought about, plus gerund. Number two, it might be a good idea. One thing you could do is, plus infinitive. Number three, maybe you could, plus base form of the verb. Number four, why don't you, plus base form of the verb. These are my problems. Can you give me some suggestions? How can I get along with my brother better? How can I improve my memory? I promise I'll read your suggestions. Friends. Okay, guys. First of all, what do you think about this video? Guys, I know you are taking notes right now. Okay, Randy, what do you think about the video? Well, it's uh, something new for me because I didn't know that for the suggestion we have for different way for say something. Yes. Gerund infinity with moral bells or with in negative form. Well, in negative form, every, every, all the uh, idea that you will give, we have positive and negative. But we have now three positive. <laughs> three positive, positive ways that you can share the same idea. And also suggestion is something that we use every day. Just try to imagine this. Try to think in today. Did you provide an advice or a suggestion for someone else? Yeah. Yes. Okay, it's the same in it. You have to learn how to provide a suggestion or advice. Okay. <clears throat> right now, if you can see, as Brandy said, we got three positive ways in order to make a suggestion. Okay, also, we got one. The first one, if you see the structure, 
start as an as a question. What about looking? How you thought about joining? And after that, after looking, it's the contract. It will be through the personal ads. It will be the same one. What about the finish? Oh, okay, the finish a little bit different. Well, in this one, also, we will start with, it might be a good idea. What thing you could do? And then it will be like this. Or a base of a verb. And after that, it would be the base. Both are different, totally different. And this one, we will use this. To check out those. Why two here? Because it's working as a link work between. The idea and also what you had to do. Okay, what about with model terms? Well, model plus verb. Well, my you could go. What is the model here? We have two. The first one? They have two. Maybe it could. Yes. This is maybe. It's like. Permission model girl. Model of permission, that's the name. It's a model of permission. Like who, like might. But in this kind of cases, maybe you could go to a chat room of internet. Okay, what about the negative? When we use the negative, it's in order to make a conference. Why do you join a dating service? You are making a suggestion, but also you are trying to find a reason why that person uh, don't do that. And yeah. we only have only one way in negative form. Yes, just one way. Why don't you join? Why do you? Why do why you, you quit? Why do you quit with fat food? Food, for example. Mm -hmm. Another one. It could be this one. Why don't you do the homework right now? <laughs> That's a good one. Why don't you do the homework right now, but you are making a suggestion. Maybe the, uh, the person is doing something else. And your answer could be, ah, because I am in the classes teacher. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> right now, let me ask it to you, do you have any question about this? Any doubt? No, it's clear. With infinitives, teacher, is optional to use the preposition to before the verb. Okay. Right now, we will verify that maybe, and thank you for asking. Okay, maybe pay attention in this one. With infinitives, just a second. I will try to make five. Can you give me some base form of the verb infinitive for and take notes. Remember, you may play the audio pro. Give me a second. To remember which forms to go together. Follow me. Making suggestions or giving advice. Number one, how about, what about, have you thought about, plus gerund. Number two, it might be a good idea. One thing you could do is, plus infinitive. Okay, 
we will use the infinitive only when we use this expression. One thing you could do is Only in that moment, maybe you will be able to use. Only, only, and when the sentence start with one things you can do. Uh -huh. Okay, lo voy a decir en, en español. Yo sé, guys, que la sección 4 suele ser un poco corta, o la estamos viendo un poco rápido. Es nuestro tercer día viéndolo. Y ya casi la hemos finalizado. Pero ¿por qué es que pasa esto? Porque tenemos que verificar y a la misma vez aprender estructuras nuevas. Cada video no solo contiene una estructura. Ejemplo en esto. Si se fijan, guys, eh, ¿dónde está este? Perdónenme, que quiero encontrar donde estuve. Bueno, ya no sé. bueno, ejemplo, it might be a good idea para poder transmitir eso, que podría ser una excelente idea. Nosotros tenemos tres formas, y las tres formas son tres estructuras completamente diferentes para transmitir que eso puede ser una buena idea. Ahora bien, yo sé que ustedes van a venir y me decir, Ok, teacher, pero eso significa que en este mismo video vamos a aprender alrededor de seis a nueve estructuras. Muy bien, déjenme decirle que sí. En este video lo que tenemos que hacer es memorizar nuestras estructuras y saber cómo poderlas ocupar. Ahora bien, si nosotros seguimos viendo el video, déjenme... Bueno, ejemplo en este. Making a suggestion or giving advice. How about? What about? How you thought about? Plot your. Yo sé que en estas puede decirme, hey, teacher, pero aquí no hay más estructura. Ok. Si en esto, lo único que va a decir, hey, what about... Eh, Do, uh, what about change the oil of your car right now instead of wet the time? Si tú lo dices, what about, estás preguntando de él como una suggestion. Hey, no te saldría mejor hacerlo de esta manera. De la misma, de la misma forma, how about. Y que hay, have you thought about, en esta si sí vamos a ocupar el gerón. ¿Pero por qué? Muy bien, porque en esa le estás haciendo ver a él de que si alguna vez lo habrá pensado, si se le cruzó por la mente. No le estás haciendo, hey, mira, ¿por qué no lo haces así? Sino que ya le estás preguntando, mira, hey, no lo has pensado de esta manera. Ahora bien, veamos. La siguiente. Bueno, pero solo cuatro. Ahora bien, ¿qué vamos a hacer ahorita? Muy bien, lo que vamos a hacer ahorita, Gai, será dar una sugestión. Vamos a hacerlo de la siguiente forma. Les daré un tema. Ustedes pueden sugerir algo al respecto. Y luego de eso vamos a cambiar de tema y vamos a hacer lo mismo. Me van a sugerir algo referente al siguiente tema. Ok, the first aim will be What can I do in order to improve my aim? Write or say. What can I do? No, I mean, you wanna, we can type or we can say, or example right now. 
right now, um, try to type, uh, typing, or you can say it, because remember, if you just typing, you will learn the grammar. You will learn all the punctuations, the structure, but at the moment that you try to speak in public, that will be a big mistake because you will be afraid. In that kind of cases, it will be up to you. If you want to type in on the chat, it's okay. But if you want to share on the class your your advice or suggestion, advice or suggestion, you are free to do it. Okay, right now you got three minutes in order to give me a suggestion. How can I improve my English? Excuse me, teacher. Uh, what uh, do you need to improve? My English. Uh, your English? Yes. Okay, thank you. Whatever doubt or question, I will be here. Hmm, we already got the first one. Let me verify. Hey, thank you, Brandy. You could go to classes on Insta for <laughs> it's free. Okay, thank you. It's a good advice. Perfect. Almost time, guys. Teacher, one thing you could do is write five irregular verbs at your notebook ten times. At the same time, you are pronouncing them, typing them, and memorizing them. Mm, that's a good idea. It's like the previous video, right? Like in the previous section. Okay, thank you, maybe. And Maximo, why do you not watch videos on YouTube over in this language with expert and in platform, in platform English Corporativo? Hey, you did a great job too. Okay, Morena, go ahead. Go ahead. Teacher, here I have my examples. Mm, just give me a second roll. First of all, Morena. Okay. Uh, what about talking with native speaker? What about talking with native speaker? Yes, I, I wrote the same the same example. What about looking to a new native English oh. people? <laughs> hey, have, just, just, have you thought about the listening news on TV? Mm -hmm. Okay, if you listen, it's the same idea. They repeat your Morena, your idea. Uh, I'm you... not sure if uh, it's okay. But yes. I try. What 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 about looking through new native English people? Aha, uh -huh. and repeat Raul your idea, please. What please. about talking with native speaker? It's the same one. But in a different way. 
The second one, teacher, have you thought about listening news on TV? Thank you, Raúl. Pero la second va a ser sobre otro tema. Okay, right now. Okay. Thank you, Randy. What about the rest? Hmm? We have time for one, one person more. One thing you could do is to watch um, movies or series in English with subtitles in English, or maybe you could go, you could practice uh, in front of the mirror. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Perfect, guys. You did a great job. Okay. Yeah. What can I do in order to be on shape? Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe you could go to the gym and try to eat, uh, I don't know, how do you say protein? Protein. Protein and try to eat, eat more protein. Maybe you could, <laughs> mm -hmm. maybe you could stay all the day in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Not all day long. <laughs> but I like that way. If you see, if you already noticed, both give me to advice, but also with a little job. Uh, <clears throat> let me tell you that the United people love that love the jokes, but we have to do jokes like Morena already did. We told you. Okay. Thank you. What else? What else? What can I do in order to be in shape, guys? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, one thing you could you could do to change your having for food mm -hmm. habit, habit to eat. Yes, your maybe you could. You could change your diet. We can change. Uh, we yes, can use diet. yes, it's better. Yeah. One thing you could you could do change your your diet, right? The one thing you could do is to change your diet. Okay. Okay. Right, right now I am sharing this one, the chart. Try to verify this, the structure. You already did a good job. In the previous one, you did a great job. But remember, it's a new aim, and we have to see in order to practice. Okay, guys, one more, one more. I need one more suggestion, please. Okay. I will pick somebody that is not participant and has been has not been participating since the class start. Nancy, can you help us, please? Yes. Go ahead. Reading. Okay. Okay. With Jaron? Uh, no, no. What a, okay. Give me the example. What can I do in order to be on shape? Uh, maybe you have to be disciplinated. Because I said discipline. <laughs> okay. First of all, uh, try to pay attention and go these okay. structures. And pick one. Okay. After that, try to use that structure in order to provide your idea about what can I do in order to be a shame. Okay. One thing or one option you could do for to be in shape is um, rest 
affect your body, not, eh, ¿cómo se dice? Excediendo. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo puedo decir en inglés? Ex ex Exceed. Como, pero exceder. Excesión. Exceed. No, es que eso significaría cosas diferentes. Bueno, tú lo que quieres decir que no me exceda de qué? De ejercicio. About uh -huh, exercise a ah, workout. En ese sería, you have to res uh, one thing you might or you could do is to try to not overwork. Uh, overwork. Uh -huh. Over one thing you could, one, one thing, no, it might be a good idea to not over workout. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay. That's perfect. So in my, in my you could, uh, no, so sería, so sería. Have you thought about not overworking? Okay. Bye -bye. Right now, uh, guys, we are ready. Okay. First of all, do you have any doubt or question about this topic, guys? Tenemos alguna duda o pregunta sobre No, for a while. No, 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 it's, it's okay. okay. Okay, I know and I can see it's okay because you already gave me beautiful example. And also I like the way that you provide me that example because you, you look more natural at the moment of speaking English. Okay, but right now, in order to continue, it's time to make a knowledge check. And after that, I will ask it to you guys. Y lo voy a decir en español. Do you have, perdón, tienen alguna duda o consulta sobre algún tema anterior? ¿Por qué les hago esa pregunta? Again, sé que se ve que vamos corriendo. Y en un momento nosotros vamos a entrar a un nuevo tema. Y este nuevo tema ya no va a ser lo que hemos estado viendo como presente o la, a, en presente. Hablando de su yaxo. No. Ya vamos a comenzar a hablar sobre el pasado. Y antes de comenzar a hablar sobre el pasado, quiero saber que todos ustedes tienen ninguna duda sobre el presente. Así es que, mientras hacemos el knowledge check, guys, try to think about an aims that you feel that you, that you need assistance. Okay, right now it's time to continue and it's time to make a knowledge check. Knowledge check. I need right now uh, a volunteer. Raul, can you help me please? Sure, teacher. Tell me. Can you read the instruction, please? It's two chance. Much each problem below with the best suggestion. Okay. How can I build self-confidence, guys? Participate in more social activities. Uh -huh. But can you give me that suggestion with the structure? One thing you can do is to participate in more social activities. Perfect. Thank you, maybe. Next one. What could help me be happier? Because I am so sad. Mm -hmm, guys. Uh, what could help me be happier? Mm -hmm. Plan fun activities to look forward to every week? 
Mm -hmm. That's the answer. That's right, Morena. But can you provide me as a suggestion or advice with one of the structures that we already learned? Me lo puede proveer con alguna de las estructuras que ya vimos. Como one thing that you could do. Okay. It might be a good idea. Uh -huh. What about looking for plan for fun, uh, for fun activities to look forward to every week? Hey, that's perfect. Thank you. Okay. How can I lose weight? Because I feel a little bit fat. Maybe you could cut down or on calories. Perfect. Thank you, Brandy. It's perfect. I will do. Okay, what can I do to save my money because I spend a lot of money? Come out with a budget. You could, yes, come up with a budget. Mm -hmm. Come up with a good budget, but try to. Can you repeat? Maybe I couldn't listen so well. You listen to Rob. Uh, yeah, I said that it might be a good idea. No, I said that. Uh, what about? No, no, no. <laughs> okay. It might be a good idea <laughs> to come up with a budget. It's okay, but thank you. Okay, I listened to someone else. It, I guess it was. Marina, Marina, can you give Morena. me? But it was Morena. Okay, Morena, can you provide me an advice about this one? What can I do? Um, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Okay, maybe you could oh, maybe you could come up with a budget. Oh. Perfect. The next one, how can I improve my memory? One thing you could do is uh, to play concentration games. Play concentration games. How can I get along with my wrong roommate better? I think it is wrong because it's trying not to get vivid about little things. Mm -hmm. But Okay, you can try. Is this one? Or is this one? No, try not to get repeat about. Try not to get pivot about little things. What's the meaning of pivot, guys? Pivot. Pivot, mm -hmm. last. I don't know if I can really, if I can. What does it mean, pivot? That is the question. What's the meaning of PV? It's like a like big a fist up. Curious. Mm -hmm. fist, fist, fist up. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. Okay, Brandy, you said something? It's like a being a pissed up, mm -hmm. angry, furious. Furious, angry. I don't know. Angry beards. Just give me a second. Accept. Ah, okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's time to verify. Oh, that's perfect. You already give me a good advice in those things. Mm -hmm. It's time to continue, guys. And right now, we've got a reading. Instructions. Read the article, then write the number of each paragraph next to its main idea. And not just write the number. For example, three. Mm -hmm. Okay. We already got five paragraphs. Three, four, one, five, two. But also we got two bullets. It will be six in total. And right now in the class, we already got three, seven, 
10 people. I will ask for help for the people that hasn't participated yet. Thank you, Brandy. I appreciate so much. You will Second one. <laughs> uh, you will start with the bullets. Paragraph number one, Morena. Paragraph number two, Maximo. Paragraph number three, Jaime Roberto. And paragraph number four, Vanessa. Last one, but not least, Jaime Lopez. Okay? Go ahead. Comience, friend. Ah, sorry. Just let me. Let me. Which is my part? Okay, the two bullets. The first two bullets. The first. It's the dot. Okay, guys. When the kitchen bullets, it's not like ya saben que lanza. No. Bullets se le menciona a este puntito. Cuando usted mire que está leyendo algo, mire un puntito aquí. O mira varios, ahí son bullets. Okay. Go ahead. Have you Go ahead. ever been invited? Thank you for your suggestion. Have you ever been embarrassed because uh, you forgot something important? What kind of thing do you have the most trouble remembering? Mark begin to introduce the just speaker to the audience, but then pause in order. He had forgotten her name. Barbara hid her jewelry eerie when she went out uh, when she went on vacation. When she came back, she couldn't remember where she put it. Perfect. Thank you so much, Brandy. Uh, can you repeat this word again? Is yes, speaker? Yes, a speaker. Thank you. And yes, I have problems with this jury. Is uh, a jury? Jewelry. Her jury? Jewelry. Okay. Jewelry. Jewelry. Ah, okay, yeah, I have a uh, it's como joyas, pero siempre que la leo siempre. I forgot how to pronounce yearly. Okay, I got it. And this one, can you pronounce this? Ah, uh, that's it, forgotten. Mm -hmm. Oh, forgotten. Forgotten. Mm, I think that is que se forgotten. 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 Uh, okay, forgotten. Is like un acento. Okay. Si tú lo dices forgotten, es como que lo pronuncian los ingleses, australianos, regiones por esta área. En cambio, regiones como Estados Unidos, si se cuenta el estado, forgotten. Is it forgotten? Forgotten, ok. Forgotten, ok. Right now. Yeah, got our it. next participant, Morena. Okay. Go ahead with the yes, I'm here. Number one. I'm ready. Go ahead. Okay. Perhaps you have experiences like this. Most people have, in what world most people have resigned themselves to a life of forgetting. They are unaware of a simple but important fact. Memory can be developed if you just accept that, but this book will show you how. Thank you. You did a great job, Morena. Just Thank try you. to be a little bit more calm because at the beginning you, you read beautiful, yeah. but in this part, <laughs> to this part, you read so fast. But it's okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay. Okay, right now. Maximo, paragraph number two. Okay. First, relax. If you're 
over anxious about remembering something. You'll forget it. Relaxing will ex exempt your awareness and ability to concentrate. Take deep breaths and tell yourself that you have all the time in the world to remember. Thank you, Maximo. Okay, you did a great job. I love your pronunciation, but can you do it with a little bit more fluence? With a little bit of speed? ¿Te gustaría leerlo nuevamente? Okay. <coughs> First, relax. If you are over anxious about remembering something, you'll forget it. Relaxing will enhance your awareness and ability to concentrate. Take deep breaths and tell yourself that you have all the time in the world to remember. Thank you. Did you can you see the difference? Okay, Maximo, when we read the first time, we read as you already did. Wow. But you pronounce well. But when you read it the second time, Maximo, you add the speed to your good pronunciations. But you did. Yes. Okay. Already good <clears throat> twice. Okay, right now, Jaime. But let me be tell you which Jaime. Jaime Roberto, can you help us with the number of tears, three? Okay. Second, avoid being negative. If you keep telling yourself that your memory is bad, your mind will come believe will come believe it and you won't remember things. When you forget something, don't say, gee, I need to have my just a second. I need to have my brain rewired. Jokes like that are negative and you will have a negative effect on you and your memory. Thank you, Jaime. You did an okay. excellent job. I don't have any word to to help you to pronounce or any advice to give it to you because you already got a good fluence and a good pronunciation too. Okay, it's the Thank time. Thank you so much, teacher. <laughs> You're welcome. It's time to continue with Jancy. Can you help us, please, Jancy, with the number four? Sure, teacher. Sorry, I'm distracted. <laughs> yeah. Okay. To improve your memory, you'll need to take an active role. Like your body, your memory can be strengthened through exercise. Look for opportunities for exercise your memory. For example, if you're learning a language, try to actively, actively, actively <laughs> remember irregular verbs. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Jancy, for reading and for being honest. And I know that you got difficult and frustrated it, but it's time to break if that the right with pronunciations. It would be the strange. Strengthen. Strengthen. Can you listen? Yeah, strengthen. <sighs> It's hard for now. Strengthen. Strengthen. Esto. Strengthen. Solo se va a sonar como No es la L al final. Ahora, en la otra palabra que vi que te dificultaba era actively. 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 Let you do a great job. 
And right now, the last one, but, but not least, Vanessa. Can you help us? Vanessa, are you there? Okay. If Vanessa cannot help us, is somebody else ready to help us with the last paragraph? Me. Go ahead. You and my... okay. Did I read? Okay, Jancy, go ahead. You may also want to make associations or links between your what you're trying to remember and things you already know. For example, if you need to catch a plane at 2 p.m., you can imagine a plane if you're in your mind and notice that it's that it has two wings. Two wings it's equal to two <laughs> you are now ten times more likely to remember the take of time. Thank you, Yancy. But can you tell me how do I pronounce this one? Two p.m. Okay. Two o'clock p.m. Two o'clock. Ah, okay. I no, it's okay. Remember, we are human beings. That means that we can make mistakes every day and every moment. But that doesn't mean that you don't have to try again in order to improve and first of all that mistake. It's okay. Okay. I am so is wrong just say two PM. Mm, it's not wrong, but uh, this is a specific time. When you say uh, two PM, maybe you are talking like around two PM. Not if a specific time. For example, if I told you, hey, I will I will be there at 2 p.m. That means it's probably that I will be there maybe five minutes before or after two o'clock. But if I told you, hey, my air friend uh, arrived at two o'clock, that means that we got in a schedule, a specific time that the air friend will arrive. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Marina. Okay, guys, I am so proud of you. You already did a great job. I can see a, a great improvement in you guys. A lot of. And right now, it's time to see or try to do a little bit more. Okay. This was the reading. And right now it's time to answer the knowledge check or the reading practice. Your mind believes what you tell it. So be positive about your memory. Okay, what number is it? Number three. If you train your memory actively, actively, you will be more likely to remember things. Mm -hmm. It's number four. Although we all forget things, there are ways to improve our memory. Mm -hmm. It's on number <laughs> one. What about the rest? What do you think about the rest? Okay. 
learning to mentally connect pieces of information can help you remember. Mm -hmm. I think it's number five. Number five, teacher. Thank you, guys. We forget things more easily when we're, we're, sorry, we're worried about remembering things. We can remember them. Number two, teacher. Okay. Okay, guys. You did a great job. Okay. We already finalized. The section or yeah, las preguntas, dudas, preguntas al respecto de algún tema pasado. De la sección 1, 2, 3. Brendi, <ríe> veo que tiene una enorme sonrisa. <ríe> Tenemos tiempo. We already got one day more in order to make a review about them. Guys. Nada. Su silencio me preocupa. <laughs> the teacher, the, the most difficult topic for me was have or get something done that this topic was difficult but um you explain it and i think just it's necessary to do more exercise and learn more about that it's okay it's okay thank you so much for letting me know that i appreciate so much that i forget uh, it gave me, it already gave me uh, an idea. What can we make a review for tomorrow? I know it's a little bit difficult because hardly ever we use have or get in order to you say, hey, I, I really get or got a bottle, a bottle of water. Oh, hey, I have a bottle of water. Would you like to take a drink? Something like that. But when we use get or have, we normally use the spread that someone else do or done something. It is something to be done. I will explain that tomorrow. It's something else that we would like to make a review. Basket boy, active boys, it's okay for you guys? Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Yes. Other aims maybe could be for the first aims that we are ready to end. Yes. No. Okay. If your answer is a silent, let me give it to you a gift right now. For the next section, we will learn about time in pass. We already learned about present, which is not just something that it happened, but something that we are doing. No. Also, we learn how to express an advice in, in present, how to ask for information in present. How to answer yes or no questions in present mm -hmm. in different ways, many ways, different models. But right now, it's time to learn about us. For that reason, guys, in the next week, uh, sorry, uh, for two, 
for tomorrow maybe and the, after the first 30 minutes we will learn about it or in the next week we will learn about pass okay do you have no, any doubt or question about the class guys no no teacher Okay, guys. No, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, yes, see you <laughs> tomorrow, guys. We already see that you are hungry today and surfing. Maybe you can want to sleep a little bit. Yes. Have a wonderful night. See you tomorrow, guys. See you, bro. Bye. Bye. Bye, see you. See ya.